Let's talk about the trainee episode 10. If you don't want spoilers, click off now. My criticism of this series since the beginning was that it was advertised as like Off Gun are the main characters series, right? But the entire time, and I've been saying this from the beginning, go back and watch my videos if you don't believe me, is that they've been inaccurately balancing the plot lines. For example, this episode in particular should have had significantly more time with Ryan and Jane, but most of the episode was spent on Tay and Bami. Now, let's talk about that. <laughs> um, this entire time, I was trying to just give the show a chance to cook, okay? Because sometimes these series take a little bit to cook. But with episode, episode five was the one that I was like, oh my God, maybe they can fix this. Maybe they can fix this, right? And th first of all, they did something I really liked. They acknowledged that Tay and Bami's high school relationship probably wasn't gonna work out forever. And they drew, they broke up in a mature way, okay? Um, despite the cheating, despite Tay acting like a man child, okay? And they completely, like, their character arcs have just been completely dropped. You know why? Because in episode 10, they had them get back together. Now you might be saying, Brinley, you just want sapphic romance. Okay, I do want sapphic romance, but in this situation, Let's first off start by saying Bami's character development, she, yes, she can be exploring her sexuality, but I think the true thing she should have done in when Tay was propositioning her with the big romantic gesture, she should have said like, I want to be friends, but I need to be single to understand myself better. Something like that, because they are just back at square one. Nothing has changed. The only thing that's changed is that Tay is still, he still is wanting to date someone who's like his mom. And Bami is now back to taking care of somebody, even though she was miserable doing that. And like, I'm not trying to say either of them are bad people. I think they are fine characters, but the this ending for their plot line, that, why did we watch all of that? Okay, and another note, it really makes me feel gross that a sapphic relationship was essentially just used as conflict to get the heterosexual couple back together. What? That's not, that's not a good look. And also they spent so much time in this series because this was advertised as an off gun series, okay? They spent so much time in the series getting us invested in Judy and Bami, Tay, and Tay's like growth he could have had, learning to be alone, learning how to take care of himself, but no. And they just dropped it. And the other weird part is they spent so much time on that when we could have been seeing Jane or Ryan's character development. It honestly just feels like we're secretly watching a series where Tay and Bami were supposed to be the main characters and Off Gun was supposed to be the side ship but they didn't want to advertise it as such. Now here's something that really sucks to me, besides the fact that they used um, a lesbian and a sapphic relationship to essentially get the heterosexual couple back together, because that GMM TV, oh, I'm so pissed at you for that. But what really makes me upset is every single episode I leave thinking, Jane and Ryan are really interesting characters, I would like to learn more about them. Why didn't I learn more about them when this is their series? And like, GMMTV is advertising and treating it like it's off gun series. Like who is doing the promo for it every Sunday? It's gun and off, right? Anyways, they just totally dropped the ball and screwed up their character development for the side ships, okay? And you know what, listen, I, I, I like Judy, okay? But I didn't want an explicit Judy Bami endgame. I wanted them to say, we need to get to know each other more and for Bami to become mature and to say, I need to learn how to be single and discover myself before I get into anything with you. And it's so weird because in episode nine, she says to Judy, I wanna get to know you better. But in episode 10, she's like, later, I'm going back to Tay. And Oh, don't even get me started on Tay. I know so many people in real life who are exactly like him. And the the thing is, is Tay deserves to be an adult. 
and then to find someone eventually whenever he wants that will also like be in a real partnership with him not in a romantic relationship that's like a parent and a child and we all know people who are in romantic relationships like that like that's toxic it's toxic in a lot of ways when you look at the advertisements when you look at the posters they always are implying that jane and ryan are the main characters for example jane and ryan will be in front and center bigger and then all the other characters will be kind of smaller around them as someone who works in marketing when i look at that and if i knew nothing about the show i would say those two are the main character okay so why is it that ryan feels like a side character in his own story and Jane feels like he rarely shows up. And I just think it's gross that they used the lesbian as a plot device to get the heterosexual couple back together. And it, it's just gross. Sorry, this was so long. I just kind of went on a rant there. Um, anyways, let me know what you thought about the episode. And if you are someone who likes that Tay and Mommy got together, back together, let me know and let me know why because I just don't see it. It feels like bad writing, wasted character development right there. Who knows if I'm gonna finish the series? The issue is, is I just really, I just really wanted Off Gun to have a good series. <laughs> I've, I've been like starved since Not Me. I mean, I know that's controversial because some people really love Cooking Crush, but I'm not like the biggest fan of it. Um, anyways, let's, let's talk. <laughs>